Well, folks, you might want to start rolling your fat doobies around because we're hearing about the upcoming Black Ops game. Some people call it Black Ops 2 Remake, others call it Black Ops 6, and apparently we have gameplay images leaking out. We also are hearing about a $99 brand new Xbox. And a lot of people are really, really shocked, and some people are actually looking like this. And there's a video clip that I want to show you as well that will genuinely shock you to your core, okay? I'm not exaggerating. This is no memes. We're going to get right into the story. Drop a thumbs up subscribe if you're new and coming in at our number six spot i'm doing a hundred dollars giveaway i do that every single month if you're interested check out the top and comment below but coming in at our number five spot we're hearing that phil spencer i will get to call of duty stuff in just a little bit but damn son like i'm pretty sure while phil spencer or i should say jim ryan was taking the sony pony airlines to go down to brussels to speak on the activision deal situation one in the chat if you think that deal will go through with activision and xbox two if you think it will not but phil spencer may have just revealed a brand new xbox streaming device project keystone day and while the homie jim ryan was flying in his sony pony airlines we had our twitter detectives figuring out that indeed he has that project keystone line there and this brought a lot of people back to the point when phil spencer indeed had the series s line around in his wardrobe in his background and now everybody's waiting for him to reveal that but check this out folks i just cannot believe it fellas rumor details on project keystone it's gonna be 99 dollars with controller 4k hd we are streaming where you're gonna have xCloud that is currently capped at 1080p I mean sheesh, for $99 my god this is gonna be a brilliant deal for the gamers for the toxic gamers also for the gamers that are on a budget and I can actually see you know during Christmas if this is announced before Christmas on Boxing Day at Christmas sale mommy and daddy will be like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the child would be like I want a brand new PlayStation or I want a brand new Xbox and mommy and daddy would see a controller with $99 mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and they just straight up buy them i mean why not 4k hdr streaming the x cloud is currently capped at 1080p where you can play games on your own or from your xbox game pass remote play from xbox consoles in your house and man you got the full xbox dashboard with support for parties discord and dvr and i'm pretty sure man jim ryan must be sitting back he might be pounding sand he might be kicking rocks out there and i do remember like a couple of months ago when series s was announced there were some devs that were like yo man how dare you actually come out with a series s console it's so hard to develop game for that and now phil spencer is like hold my beer we go come out with a 99 dollars console bruh and shout out to the homie Oli for adding me in the situation giving me stadia flashbacks but speaking of call of duty 2024 the black ops 2 remake the black ops 10 out there apparently a couple of months ago i'll get down to the new information as well or in fact just today it was probably what 40 seconds ago on october 10 goddamn Alright, it was just updated because yeah, we have brand new information because we're in that Call of Duty 2024 developer setting engine leak concept art and more and we indeed ended up getting leaked gameplay concept art for this game already and just a couple of weeks ago we did hear that this game is gonna be somewhere around 90s the homie tom henderson said that trix next game is also semi-futuristic but boots on the ground if you want 2023 information but apparently the mw2 og afterwards back in july tom henderson had his information back in 2021 so maybe stuff got canceled some stuff got changed which is very very likely because this was found in the Call of Duty game files. Activision did put it in the game files. Some references to Mogadishu, they were found in the files for Treyarch's 2024 COD title. This could likely be referencing the battle of Mogadishu, which was said in the 90s. And we have those gameplay images link here. They're not showing those images directly here, and I also cannot show you because admittedly, if I show you, this video will get Buka KO'd by Activision, and they will send this video to YouTube Heaven, which I certainly do not want. The engine, however, is going to be starting with Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2 and then every future Call of Duty game will be developed under one unified engine. This could be a good thing, this might be a bad thing because let's say if you do not like the Modern Warfare 2 engine, then Treyarch is gonna be using basically the same engine. And apparently now, the new rumors claim that Treyarch's Call of Duty 2024 game will get two years of post-launch support. This is coming from the homie The Ghost of Hope. Oh, oh I'm shaking! Who says that update on Call of Duty 2024 Treyarch have had their budgets approved for a two-year life cycle on their next install I mean, damn, as part of Activision, Blizzard's three-year life budget cycle, Activision are hedging their bets on Modern Warfare 2 doing well financially, as well as the infrastructure of Call of Duty 2.0. <gasps> Oh my god! And quickly after, homie started doing Copium Zombies Chronicles 2. 
<laughs> year two content? My guy, this was a thing all the way back in 2018. People were really expecting that we're gonna be having Zombie Chronicles back in 2018. 2019, then we ended up hearing that, hey man, in 2020, we're gonna be having Black Ops Cold War, so maybe Zombie Chronicles 2 in like the 2021s, maybe the 2022s as like a strong and independent DLC cycle, but guess what, folks, that never came. And now the homies are actually expecting that to happen. Honestly, wouldn't doubt it when I speak as a fan. Uh, I've not heard anything as a leaker, though. And listen, man, that two-year life cycle for our Treyarch game definitely be hitting different right now because there were bonus a spot i was like hey why not add this because call of duty black ops 1 was spotted at the bottom of the playstation page you can see that black ops 1 is showing up there i also did provide the link if you got twitter follow me there because this is where the sauce is at and a lot of homies a lot of you guys were like that's cap like e -e -e -e, there's no way we're gonna have the there's no way this is gonna be real and i totally understand but check this out i went over on the sony pony website and god damn you can see that call of duty black ops 1 is showing up right there it's a little bit cut out but you can see it's there and I, i'll just go a little bit above here you can see the website is all kind of strong and independent it's very dynamic and yeesh, you can see the scroll that happened as well and it's there and the interesting question here is that does this mean that we're actually going to be getting a black ops 1 remaster does that mean that it's just going to be a stream only Whoa. campaign stream only campaign thing i'm not sure because that's what a lot of the the toxic gamers that's what the strong and independent gamers saying that are on the street our number two spot you might want to hide your wives you might want to put your kids to beds and listen man you also might want to make yourself sit down because this one is shocking okay this is a shocking video <gasps> I swear to God, this started trending. People are reposting everywhere. I reposted. If you got a Twitter around, follow me on Twitter. I would love to have you around. No homo. But check this out. So you have a homo sapien. In fact, two homo sapien. You got stud donuts looking guy. And you're like, okay, he might be getting ready for some special stuff, right? He has two water bottles. Drink water, not G Fuel, right? Water is to drink. Water is meant to be drinked. It's very, very good for health. But then he's like going down right there. You might be like, okay, so this guy's probably about to do like 100 push-ups, maybe 200 push-ups. He's a giga chat, right? He's gonna be showing his guns. He's gonna be showing his biceps. And, you know, probably gonna get the baddie home and he's gonna impress the baddie and the baddie is uh, Amaranth. So I already some people are like, uh, she's very strong and independent, which she is, she's very strong. But right now I'm about to commit a sin of playing this video as she puts her giant leg on top of this man. We have another man. I mean, you would have thought that he would tell him that, hey man, do not drop your manhood all the way down to the floor. But stands tall and take a picture and uh, sh there she goes. Uh, hey! And then she claps. I would be clapping too if I were her, right? Because I mean, damn, you got two full-size adults, homo sapiens out there. And then, you know what? They put their water bottles on and uh, yeah, man, no eye contact, no hi, no hello. And then they kind of peace out. There they go, man, there they go. But if you want to lose more hope in humanity, click on this video on the screen. It's a banger, y'all. Click on it, subscribe, and I will see you right there.